and welcome to your Friday One Show Live with Alex Jones and Chris Ramsey. Now, this week, thousands of fans got to enjoy live music for the very first time since lockdown when Sam Fender headlined two socially distant gigs in Newcastle. It is brilliant to see music starting again, but is this really how all festivals will be in the future? We asked Sharuna Sagar from BBC's Look North programme to join the crowd and find out. For me, you can't beat that feeling of seeing your favourite band live, singing and dancing your heart out in a sea of like-minded strangers. And it's that magic that makes live music so special to so many of us. But things have had to change. Our business was completely devastated. We operate five music festivals that have all rescheduled. It's a creative industry and I think we need to get creative, really, to try and help bring it back. In my city, Newcastle, the first dedicated socially distanced arena has been created, giving people the opportunity to actually see live music during the pandemic. The platforms are raised and then as you go down to the front, they gradually go down so people are on the grass right in front of the stage and it just provides a safe barrier to keep people apart. People are wearing masks and everyone's really compliant and it's working really well. Ordinarily, how many people would the site hold? 30 to 40,000 people on a general day, so we're only putting 2,500 in. Can you make money from that? Only over a month, so the economies of scale are obviously much better over that period of time. The artists all want it to happen, so we're all prepared to take a cut in fee to make it happen. Tonight's act is Sam Fender, but with nearly a month left to run, other acts include Two Door Cinema Club, Craig Charles, The Libertines, Supergrass, Bill Bailey and Maximo Park. People rely on us for an income from cleaners to everyone on site, really the people who've built the site. By bringing this back, we can obviously bring income back to those people who've worked so hard for us over the years. To ensure that all the gig goers are safe, some new procedures have been put in place. Tickets have to be purchased online, ticket holders must arrive in their own vehicle at a specified time and park in a socially distanced car park. Each group will have their own personal viewing platform to watch the performance while maintaining a safe distance from fellow music lovers. And only one person can leave the platform at a time during the concert. But none of that seems to be bothering people here tonight. We need some live it's music. It's going to be the future. Oh, I love this. I've been able to sit down and just like watch from here. It's amazing. It's going to take getting used to, but the music's still there. I like, like this, yeah. and I don't know why I like this. I tell you what, you're getting old and you want to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you big Sam Fender fans then? Yeah. yeah. Who's the biggest Sam Fender fan? Do you reckon? My mom. Your mom. <laughs> you got to see him in an outdoor environment like this. It's all close to his hometown. It's like once in a lifetime experience, really. Sam Fender's tour was cancelled in March when the nationwide lockdown was announced, just days before the first gig. I don't care what capacity we're doing it in, I'm just so glad to be back on a stage, you know. If we prove that this works, then maybe we can just do this every week or something. <laughs> you are making history, aren't you, really? Because this is the first socially distanced arena gig. It's lush for the region as well, and it's amazing that um, the Geordies are flying the flag for it. I'm, I'm proud that we're the trailblazers on this one. <laughs> we will get back to normality at some point with gigs and eventually we will be out in fields but it's nice to just know that this is the first step towards that. So how are you feeling about your gig tonight? I can't wait to get out and sing these songs. I'm going to go for it tonight. Your fans have missed you. I've missed yes. them. Break a leg as they say. I'll, I'll try not to actually break <laughs> Actually no, don't do that. Better. That's actually brilliant. Really, really impressed how they've kept everyone apart, but actually felt like you're all part of the same thing. So it's a good start to the social distancing gigs that's yet to come. You didn't lose anybody, you didn't lose <laughs> your stuff, your stuff was there, it was brilliant. brilliant. 